right so welcome to the Ellen Bradley programming instruction lessons so in the first lesson we have to we have to work on some different commands some basic commands which is examine if closed examine if open and output energized so initially to take a letter we have to take a rung above that this is the first rung which states at end so we have to take we have to make program above that so for that we'll take this uh, add rung button and we'll click this we'll have some rung now first is examine if examine if closed so this is a bit this is a command so if I press this press this button I'll have this bit over here on the location where you have pressed this button so now we have to give address so let's take the first input which is i colon zero slash zero all right so now we can also give some symbols and some some uh, description if you want you can give it here all right so this is the button which examine the the terminal i colon zero slash zero this is a bit so this will examine whether it is closed or not that's why its name is examine if closed so let's take an output with that so, so that we can we can see what output we can get by pressing this button so let's take this output energized and here we'll enter it is o colon zero slash zero all right so now this button is going to energize this output suppose we have something at the input any sensor or any button and um, some device at the output like some motor or led that can be energized by using this simple command so in this we have used this examine if examine if closed and output energize. So let's download that. For download we will go to here, download button, press it here. Then it will ask to save this letter. So let's save on the desktop by me one. And now it will ask to download this program. So this is how the program downloads in a PLC. And similar similarly you can see some uh, status at the PLC, which shows that my output two and three is on now these these outputs one and two are not because we are using nc switches at the input so by pressing i zero if i press from the panel you can see that out zero is on now this is on because my letter is being solved so that is a basic instruction which says that if input is on output will be on this will examine if it is closed or not so now uh, similarly we have another command which says examine if open so this will examine whether this command is open or closed so let's let's take this um, this bit instead of this one so uh, let's do shortcut so now this is my examine if <coughs> this is my examine is open so I have to transfer this address here so the shortcut is just drag this like here now this, this is the same address so I can delete this one now when I download this program there will be some different operation now you'll find a difference that if I use this NC contact this is also known as NC in other PLCs or other literary terms and the last one was NO all right now in this case you'll see that initially this is closed this is NC so this will this will turn on the output as you can see in the PLC itself because this is examine if open it will only examine if the contact is open or not so when I press this button this will open up the contact all right so what happened is this is a vice versa this is an NC contact which is normally closed that's why our output was on if I press this button from outside the panel, which is NO switch, it will turn off the output. So that's the vice versa operation. All right. So now, uh, based on this NO and NC, let's design some gates, some logic gates. So the first gate which we're going to design is the AND gate. All right. So for the AND gate, what we, what we need that if both inputs are on, then only the output is on. So for AND gate, we'll take two NO contacts. Right. One and two. We don't need any NC contacts. So let's name this as i colon 0 slash 0 because I know that my NO contact is connected to i colon 0 slash 0 also you have seen in the wiring diagram now my second NO contact is i colon 0 slash 3 so I have two NO push buttons connected at terminal 0 and terminal 3 so that makes my AND gate how let's, let's check it out so uh, let me download that now in this in this program you'll see that if both inputs are on then only output will be on which is exactly what happened in an AND gate so let's check it out. I'm going to the run mode. Now, now I'm going to press input I0. You can see in the PLC itself. So output is not on because I3 is not on. So if I press only I3, then only output will not be on. If I press both the inputs, then you can see that output is on because this is an AND gate. So it says that when both inputs are true, output is true. So then similarly, you can utilize this uh, in some of your PLC applications, just this basic AND gate. Now we now to make an OR gate, what we have to do? To OR gate, in which if any of the input is on, output is on. So for that we have to connect out input in parallel to that. So how to do that in Ellen Bradley? 
you have to click this run run branch now this is a run branch uh, now what you have to do is just click this and place it here now this is a pattern run and you need this switch over here so what you have to do is go here button go to this go to this place and add some endo contact and transfer the address and you can delete this now this is an R gate which says that if any of the input is on output is on it's quite simple As you see here, going online, if I press any of the button, I'm pressing I0, output is on. Now I'm pressing I3, output is on. So this is what is OR gate all about. If you press any of the button, output will be on. So that's the basic AND gate and OR gate. Similarly, you can make NAND gate, NOR gate, NOT gate, ZOR gate by NONC combination of gates. So that is all about instruction. Examine if closed. This is examine if closed. Examine is open. This is the NC button and output energize. So these are three commands which you can use. Now one more thing that, that suppose I want that this output should be latched. Latch means if I press this button once this should remain on. So how to do that? It's very simple. The similar way which you have seen in other videos of Delta which I've made in YouTube just just transfer this address here. Now this become latched. When I press this button, the switch, output will be energized and its similar NO bit which is of same address will be energized and the auxiliary supply will make it on. So to make it off as well, let's add NC contact now here with the address as i colon zero slash three. This is to unlatch that. So let's let's check it out. Going to download this again. Okay, I'm going to online mode now. If I press this i zero once, now I'm releasing it. Now you can see that this is latched because this is the auxiliary bit which is making it on auxiliary contact of this out zero now if I press this I3 this will unlatch this output so I, I, I know my NO I3 will unlatch this so I'll try again this is latch this is unlatched. so this is actually breaking the circuit breaking the latching circuit that's how you can make NO NC now suppose you want two outputs to be latched what you can do is similarly you can add some output parallel output here so I'm going to this this command again taking it here now going here and take another output let's name it at O column 0 slash 1 the first output right so let's download that and let's check this program now this is this is a program to latch two outputs with the same single input just by adding a parallel output in, in the output session so let's check it out now again I0 now the two outputs are latched two are unlatched so you can simultaneously have as much outputs you can latch here at the outputs you can unlatch this using single button so that's all about, all about examine if flows examine if open and output energize or in other words no nc and out commands so in further commands we'll see the latch and unlatch outputs in this video